Hey Tribe, so it's Friday night and I'm still working, but that doesn't face me because as you all know, I actually love what I do. So I am currently working on a worksheet and the worksheet is about what parts of your life are actually empowered and what parts need upgrading. So I'm going to give you a bit of example from the worksheet here. Um, if you can still see me. So first of all, do you actually set your table? So do you actually make time for you to sit down and actually enjoy dinner and make it a special occasion as opposed to just eating dinner in front of the TV? So that's one of the things. And then I'm going to go into things like instead of actually, and this actually flows on from that, do you have TV free dinner time. So that's all about meal hygiene and actually being present when you're eating your food. Are you chewing your food thoroughly and having device free time? And this can be time to connect with your family or if you're on your own, it's time to check in with your body and go, okay, how are you feeling today? How was your day? And actually have a bit of a conversation with yourself as opposed to just mindlessly watching TV as you go through your meal time. Then uh, the next one is, do you have a lunch bag? So having a lunch bag for work or travel, and that can make things a lot easier because you know that you are going to have good quality food. And I travel a fair bit with my work for seminars and things like that. And one of the big things I always do is take my lunch and I've got a pretty little lunch bag that goes away with me because it's important to me to ensure that I've got good quality food and especially being celiac, I can't always guarantee that there's food available. So do you have a pretty lunch bag for work or travel? Do you take your vitamins? Do you place your forks and knives down as you're eating? Do you serve water at your table when you're eating your dinner? Do you find three new recipes every week? Uh, the pro do you have protein with every meal? Do you eat two pieces of fruit? Are you hitting high fiber foods that have got a lot of nutrients and vitamins? Can you eyeball portion sizes when you go out to restaurants? Can you eat desserts when you go out to restaurants and actually make it fit your macros? And can you travel and go on holidays and be responsible? Like I've just come back from Japan and I only put on 400 grams. I've had clients that go overseas and they just go absolutely nuts and be irresponsible. And then they've got all this damage to fix when they come back. So I'm going to be going through lots of different areas in people's lives. And we're going to look at it as either an upgrade or are they currently empowered in that current situation? So I'm looking at... Yes, meal times and kitchen. So do you have enough containers in your kitchen? Do you have enough serving utensils? Do you have enough cooking appliances? Do you need a blender? I have two rice cookers because I like to cook up a whole bunch of sweet potato. Uh, Ryan Cole says, probably safe to let go of the cable. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for that. I just, it's, yeah, I thought, because I don't have my normal lapel mic, I should probably just use my lapel mic. And thank you for that. So these are lots of little areas in your life that you can actually move towards upgrades. And then I'm also going to look at other areas. So do you have nice gym wear that you actually feel good to go train in? Do you like your current gym? Is are you getting the best out of your programming? So where are all these little areas? And there's probably going to be, by the end of the time I finish this list, there's probably going to be a hundred things on this list. And I'm not telling my clients to go through and upgrade absolutely everything at one single time because that's too much overwhelm and people don't actually do anything. But what I'm going to suggest is that every single week they look at this list and find that one thing to upgrade. So that might be buying PBA-free water bottles because that way they don't get any toxins in their body or it might be going out and getting containers so that they can actually do meal prep. So they're going to be the little things that you can do every single week. And just choose one out of this list of 100. Go through and rank, okay, is my current situation empowered or does it need upgrading? And if it needs upgrading, once you finish the list, every week just choose one thing. It doesn't have to be anything expensive. It can be the one thing. You can save the expensive things like a pair of squat heels for when you're squatting for one of the times that you've got a little bit of extra money to play with. But things like Tupperware containers, well, not if you use actual Tupperware, but 
containers for your meal prep doesn't cost that much. Ensuring that you've got two good nonstick frying pans doesn't cost that much, but they're little tiny things that make your life so much easier so you can actually stick to your goals and do this long term. Because I want to make my client's life as easy as possible, and it starts with those incremental upgrades, not only in their physical environment, but also their approach to food, as in chewing their food thoroughly, making sure they're meal prepping, making sure they're trying new recipes, making sure that they do those little things like sitting down your cutlery in between every mouthful instead of scoff, 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 it makes a huge difference. So it's changing behavior, but also changing your physical environment so that you can actually have success. So if there's anything that you believe that I could add to this list, I'd love for you to help to help me out. If you've got suggestions, by all means, just flick them in the comments or later on you can post me or p. PM me and then once the list is finished I will put it up as a downloadable so you guys can actually download it and look at other areas of your life that you can upgrade. So I'd love to hear what you would think that would need upgrading in your life because the more feedback I get the better this tool is for everyone and I do appreciate people's feedback when they actually jump on board with my stuff and give me feedback I really really appreciate it. So I hope you're having an awesome Friday night I'll keep going with this list and if you've got anything to add to it I'd love to hear from you. Take care, tribe, and we'll talk soon.